So a uh, basic warm up routine here. All you're going to do, we're going to start with uh, 10 squats. Sit down, stand up 10 times. Ten of those, we're gonna do rows. You can go ahead and lean back, walk in a little ways, pull yourself up, ten more. After ten of those, go ahead and turn and face out for rollouts. Ten more. Incline lat pull downs. You're going to go ahead and back into the bench, grab the handles. Don't try to grab the handles before you lay down. It just doesn't work well. Uh, but what you're going to do, grab the handles and then slide down. From here, it's going to be a lat pull down. You're going to pull your hands down towards your chest, full extension all the way up. If you can't get all the way up there, just go ahead and slide down the bench a bit. Uh, go ahead and give me 10 reps here. Pulley rows. With this one, we're going to do a two arm row. Uh, anytime you use the K pulley, go ahead and give it a spin before you get started. Uh, with this one, range of motion is very important. If you're too close, you get this weird little loop that gets rid of all the resistance. If you're too far back, you can't pull far enough. So once you find that range of motion, when you find the correct range of motion, the rope should be going in a straight line. Once you found that spot, the harder you pull with this, the harder it gets. All you're gonna do is pull straight back into your body here. It's gonna try to pull you forward. Make sure it doesn't do that. Once you get a hang of it, 10 reps as hard as you can pull. After 10 reps of the cake pulley rows, go ahead and move on to your next exercise, which is ab lights here. So what we're going to do once we get going here, we're going to start in a push-up position. From that push-up position, you're going to go ahead and hit the yellow light. Don't care how you need to get it, just hit the yellow light. Uh, this is going to go for 30 seconds. When we first get started here, the lights are going to be off. So what you're going to do, just hit any random light to get started and then you'll hit the yellow for 30 seconds. Right after 
10 reps on the incline lat pull downs. Go ahead and move on to your next exercise, which is K pulley rows. With this one, we're going to do a two arm row. Uh, anytime you use the K pulley, go ahead and give it a spin before you get started. Uh, with this one, range of motion is very important. If you're too close, you get this weird little loop that gets rid of all the resistance. If you're too far back, you can't pull far enough. So once you find that range of motion, when you find the correct range of motion, the rope should be going in a straight line. Once you found that spot, the harder you pull with this, the harder it gets. All you're gonna do is pull straight back into your body here. It's gonna try to pull you forward. Make sure it doesn't do that. Once you get a hang of it, 10 reps as hard as you can pull. After 10 reps of the cape holding rows, go ahead and move on to your next exercise, which is ab lights here. So what we're going to do once we get going here, we're going to start in a push-up position. From that push-up position, you're going to go ahead and hit the yellow light. Don't care how you need to get it, just hit the yellow light. Uh, this is going to go for 30 seconds. When we first get started here, the lights are going to be off. So what you're going to do, just hit any random light to get started and then you'll hit the yellow for 30 seconds.
finish up with the uh, the lights, go ahead and move on to your next exercise, which is. Power step ups. So there's going to be two options here. There's going to be uh, your bench if you're a little bit taller. There will be a small box or a step if you're a little bit shorter. Um, pick which one you need to use. Uh, so we're going to do power step ups with this. So we're going to hold one dumbbell or one kettlebell here. When I say power step ups, what we're going to do is this front leg is not going to come off the bench. So we're not going to step all the way back down with it. We're going to keep this leg up. Preferably hold your, your weight in the opposite hand. You can do what you want, but that's what I would prefer. Step up, step down, lead leg stays up. 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Ten on one leg, go ahead and switch sides, ten on the other. Alright, after 10 per leg of the power step ups, go ahead and move on to your next exercise, which is super negative hamstring roll outs using the sliders here. You're going to put these on the ground, you're going to take your heels and put them in the center of the slider. If you put it off to the edge, you're probably going to lose the slider, so really try to put them in the center. From here, you're going to get up into a bridge position and as slowly as you can handle, lower it as slowly as you can. You're going to bring it back in the same way, super slow. You're just going to do one rep here. And then after one rep of the uh, super negative hamstring rollouts, you can go ahead and move on to the next exercise, which is any hamstring rollouts using the sliders here. You can set them on the ground, take your heels, put them in the middle of the slider. Try not to put it on the edges, you will probably just lose the sliders if it's on the edge. From here, you're going to lift up into a bridge position. From here, you're going to just alternate back and forth, 10 per leg, 20 total. Ten per leg, twenty total of the alternating hamstring rollouts. Go ahead and move on to the next exercise, which is power step ups. So there's going to be two options here. There's going to be uh, your bench if you're a little bit taller. There will be a small box or a step if you're a little bit shorter. Um, pick which one you need to use. Uh, so we're going to do power step ups with this. So we're going to hold one dumbbell or one kettlebell here. When I say power step ups. What we're going to do is this front leg is not going to come off the bench. So we're not going to step all the way back down with it. We're going to keep this leg up. Preferably hold your, your weight in the opposite hand. You can do what you want, but that's what I would prefer. Step up, step down, lead leg stays up. Ten on one side, ten on the other. Ten on one leg, go ahead and switch sides, ten on the other.
All right, after 10 per leg of the power step ups, go ahead and move on to your next exercise, which is super negative hamstring roll outs using the sliders here. You're going to put these on the ground, you're going to take your heels and put them in the center of the slider. If you put it off to the edge, you're probably going to lose the slider, so really try to put them in the center. From here, you're going to get up into a bridge position and as slowly as you can handle, lower it as slowly as you can. You're going to bring it back in the same way, super slow. You're just going to do one rep here. And then after one rep of the uh, super negative hamstring rollouts, you're going to go ahead and move on to the next exercise, which is training hamstring rollouts using the sliders here. You're going to set them on the ground, take your heels, put them in the middle of the slider. Try not to put it on the edges, you'll probably just lose the sliders if it's on the edge. From here, you're going to lift up into a bridge position. From here, you're going to just alternate back and forth, 10 per leg, 20 total. Ten on one leg, go ahead and switch sides, ten on the other. negative hamstring roll outs using the sliders here. You're going to put these on the ground, you're going to take your heels and put them in the center of the slider. If you put it off to the edge, you're probably going to lose the slider, so really try to put them in the center. From here, you're going to get up into a bridge position and as slowly as you can handle, lower it as slowly as you can, you're going to bring it back in the same way, super slow. You're just going to do one rep here. And then after one rep of the uh, super negative hamstring rollouts, you're going to go ahead and move on to the next exercise, which is training hamstring rollouts using the sliders here. You're going to set them on the ground, take your heels, put them in the middle of the slider. Try not to put it on the edges, you'll probably just lose the sliders if it's on the edge. From here, you're going to lift up into a bridge position. From here, you're going to just alternate back and forth, 10 per leg, 20 total. All right, after 
for 10 per leg, 20 total of the alternating hamstring rollouts. Go ahead and move on to the next exercise, which is. Incline triple minis. So you're going to grab your dumbbells, go ahead and lay back on your bench. Uh, whatever grip's comfortable for you, what you're going to do here, starting from the bottom, you're going to go up just a little bit, about six inches, right back down. You're going to go ahead and do that three times. One, two, three. That's the triple part of it. And then you're going to go ahead and follow it up with one full rep there. That's going to be one rep. We're going to do that ten times. So one, two, three, another rep, that's two, one, two, three, three, give me ten. Ten reps of the triple minis. Go ahead and move on to your next exercise, which is resistance band French press. So the farther you walk out, the harder this gets. You don't need to go crazy with it. Um, hold it straight up over your head. From here, you're going to bend back to the side of your head or behind your head even, and then re-extend. Remember, elbows aren't moving. We're trying to go straight up and down as much as possible. Ten to twenty reps here, whatever you can handle. Dumbbell curls, normal range of motion, all the way up, all the way down, 10 times. After 10 dumbbell curls, go ahead and move on to your next exercise, which is... Incline triple minis. So you're gonna grab your dumbbells, go ahead and lay back on your bench. Uh, whatever grip's comfortable for you, what you're gonna do here, starting from the bottom, you're gonna go up just a little bit, about six inches, right back down. You're gonna go ahead and do that three times. One, two, three. That's the triple part of it. And then you're gonna go ahead and follow it up with one full rep there. That's gonna be one rep. We're gonna do that ten times. So one, two, Three, another rep, that's two. One, two, three, three, give me ten. Ten reps of the triple minis. Go ahead and move on to your next exercise, which is resistance band French press. So the farther you walk out, the harder this gets. You don't need to go crazy with it. Um, hold it straight up over your head. From here, you're going to bend back to the side of your head or behind your head even, and then re-extend. Remember, elbows aren't moving. We're trying to go straight up and down as much as possible. Ten to twenty reps here, whatever you can handle. Normal range of motion, all the way up, all the way down, 10 times.
After 10 dumbbell curls, go ahead and move on to your next exercise, which is incline triple minis. You're going to grab your dumbbells, go ahead and lay back on your bench. Uh, whatever grip's comfortable for you, what you're going to do here, starting from the bottom, you're going to go up just a little bit, about six inches, right back down. You're going to go ahead and do that three times. One, two, three. That's the triple part of it. And then you're going to go ahead and follow it up with one full rep there. That's going to be one rep. We're going to do that 10 times. So one, two, three. Another rep, that's two. One, two, three, three. Give me 10. Ten reps of the triple knee. Let's go ahead and move on to your next exercise, which is resistance band French press. So the farther you walk out, the harder this gets. You don't need to go crazy with it. Um, hold it straight up over your head. From here, you're going to bend back to the side of your head or behind your head even, and then re-extend. Remember, elbows aren't moving. We're trying to go straight up and down as much as possible. Ten to twenty reps here, whatever you can handle. After 10 dumbbell curls, go ahead and move on to your next exercise, which is... Bulgarian split squats. Go ahead and put one foot up on the bench. That toe is basically just on the bench, so it's supporting your foot. It's not way back here like this. All you're going to do from here, keep your body as upright as possible. We're not leaning really forward here. Drop as straight up and down as you can. You can use these for support, but it's not an upper body exercise here. 10 on one leg, 10 on the other. After 10 on one leg, go ahead and switch sides, 10 on the other. After 10 per leg of the Bulgarian split squats, go ahead and move on to your next exercise, which is isometric lunges. So what you're going to do here, drop as far down into the lunge position. All you're going to do is hold it for 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other. After 20 seconds on one side, switch sides, 20 seconds on the other.
After 20 seconds per leg on the isometric lunges, go ahead and move on to your next exercise, which is resistance band power shuffle. So you're going to go ahead and step both feet into the band. You're going to put it around your waist. What you're going to do here, you're going to scoot out as far as you can, get as much tension as you can um, that doesn't pull you back in. So if you get so far out that you can't control it, you're too far out. But go out as far as you can that still allows you to have control. From there, we're gonna do a power shuffle. So all you're gonna do, one big stride, and then another big stride with that back leg. So you're gonna do 10 facing one way, 10 facing the other. Ten one way, turn and face the other way, ten more. As your ten first item in the power shuffle, we're going to move on to your next exercise, which is Bulgarian split squats. Go ahead and put one foot up on the bench. That toe is basically just on the bench, so it's supporting your foot. It's not way back here like this. All you're going to do from here, keep your body as upright as possible. We're not leaning way forward here. Drop as straight up and down as you can. You can use these for support, but it's not an upper body exercise here. 10 on one leg, 10 on the other. After 10 on one leg, go ahead and switch sides, 10 on the other. After 10 per leg of the Bulgarian split squats, go ahead and move on to your next exercise, which is isometric lunges. So what you're going to do here, drop as far down into the lunge position. All you're going to do is hold it for 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other. After 20 seconds on one side, switch sides, 20 seconds on the other. After 20 seconds per leg on the isometric lunges, go ahead and move on to your next exercise, which is resistance band power shuffle. So you're going to go ahead and step both feet into the band. You're going to put it around your waist. What you're going to do here, you're going to scoot out as far as you can, get as much tension as you can um, that doesn't pull you back in. So if you get so far out that you can't control it, you're too far out. But go out as far as you can that still allows you to have control. From there, we're gonna do a power shuffle. So all you're gonna do, one big stride, and then another big stride with that back leg. So you're gonna do 10 facing one way, 10 facing the other. After 10 one way, turn and face the other way, 10 more.
At your 10 per side on the power shuffle, we'll go ahead and move on to your next exercise, which is Bulgarian split squats. Go ahead and put one foot up on the bench. That toe is basically just on the bench, so it's supporting your foot. It's not way back here like this. All you're gonna do from here, keep your body as upright as possible. We're not leaning lean forward here. Drop as straight up and down as you can. You can use these for support, but it's not an upper body exercise here. 10 on one leg, 10 on the other. After 10 on one leg, go ahead and switch sides, 10 on the other. After 10 per leg of the Bulgarian split squats, go ahead and move on to your next exercise, which is isometric lunges. So what you're going to do here, drop as far down into the lunge position. All you're going to do is hold it for 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other. After 20 seconds on one side, switch sides, 20 seconds on the other. After 20 seconds per leg on the isometric lunges, go ahead and move on to your next exercise, which is resistance band power shuffle. So you're going to go ahead and step both feet into the band. You're going to put it around your waist. What you're going to do here, you're going to scoot out as far as you can, get as much tension as you can um, that doesn't pull you back in. So if you get so far out that you can't control it, you're too far out. But go out as far as you can that still allows you to have control. From there, we're gonna do a power shuffle, so all you're gonna do, one big stride, and then another big stride with that back leg. So you're gonna do 10 facing one way, 10 facing the other. Ten one way, turn and face the other way, ten more. After ten per side on the power shuffle, we're going to move on to your next exercise, which is so we're going to go ahead and finish off with the uh, stretching routine here. Uh, hold each exercise for about 20 seconds. It should be slightly uncomfortable, but never painful. So if anything actually hurts, just go ahead and move on to the next exercise. Again, hold each exercise for about 20 seconds. We're going to start with Cobras. And then from there, the quad stretch. Uh, for a lot of people, this is really hard on their knees. 
but at the same time, a lot of people improve autonomous. So whatever range of motion you can do, if this is all you can do, that is totally fine. The more you do this, the better and better you'll get. Try and get down as far as you can, hold for about 20 seconds. And then from there, we'll do the T stretch. You're going to go ahead and lay back, create a T with your upper body. You're going to take your leg. Cross it as far over your uh, body as you can. If this opposite hand and shoulder has to come up, that's fine. Try to keep it as low as you can, but if it has to come up, I'd rather that happen. 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other. If you'd like to, you can go ahead and finish up with a little rocker here. You're going to hold on and just rock back and forth. Do that so you don't want it anymore. All right. 